I'm meteorologist Peter Chan at the National Weather Service for Alaska Statewide Weather. And on this Tuesday afternoon, March 22nd, the main weather feature is a low pressure out in the central Gulf of Alaska, just kind of east of uh, Kodiak. And this feature will continue to bring rain showers to much of the outer and inner channels of the uh, panhandle, along with some snows in the, along the interior coast of mountains, and especially in the far north where winter weather advisories and warnings continue there in the northern panhandle for uh, the Klondike Highway up through White Pass, where as much as one to two feet of snow could fall through early Wednesday morning, and as much as a foot of snow could fall around uh, Haines as well uh, as we go through uh, the overnight and early Wednesday. Further south, uh, just north of Ketchikan, the Ward Lake Recreation Area continues to have a flood advisory for some uh, minor flooding due to a dam release of some of the heavier rainfall. This is pretty much a seasonal issue and well known to the locals. Farther north along the Arctic coast and northwest Arctic coast, uh, we have wind chill advisories tonight through Wednesday morning for wind chills that could be as cold as 55 below zero. That's the result of some stronger winds along the coast due to a high pressure situated uh, further north there uh, in the uh, Arctic Ocean. And then contrast with that, the pressure gradient be between that far north high and the low that's over going to be over the west side of the Gulf. Uh, as we do go through the week, we do expect uh, another low pressure to be lifting out of the North Pacific on up into the southwest quadrant of the Gulf as we go into Thursday and this will keep unstable weather along the Gulf Coast mainly rain showers or areas of rain going along sea level and then as you get into the coastal mountains and a bit inland you can expect uh, some additional snowfall. One other note uh, the ice edge in the bearing uh, the, the, at least the pack ice has backed up all the way now to the north and east side of uh, St. Paul Island and will likely hold there for the next couple of days. No real uh, change or significant winds to cause that to retreat north or eastward again. And otherwise temperatures across uh, the interior will still be below zero the next couple of nights, especially along and north of the Yukon River up through the uh, north slope. But we do expect temperatures to begin moderating across the state as we go uh, into the weekend and into early next week. And the pattern will become a little more active with some low pressures affecting the Gulf as well. For Alaska Statewide Weather, I'm Peter Chan.